Hey guys, welcome back to Just Football Games. Uh, this video is gonna be a tutorial on how to be a football manager. This is more or less an introduction to the game. And I know if you're watching this, you might find this interesting that there are people that don't know about this game. And to be honest, yes, there are. The thing is, I've been talking to people about my new channel. How people ask me what I do, I tell them, oh, I just play football manager to entertain people. And for some reason, most people do not know about it, especially the United States. I mean, for those in the UK and Europe, I think they have a fair understanding of the game and what it does and how it works. But for the American audience, soccer is not the biggest deal over here. They have the NBA and their football to deal with. So soccer is a bit new to them. Not really new, they're just not that interested. So football manager is just really, it just goes over their head. In most cases but if you're interested in the game this is how you do it and this is the video to watch all right um the first thing you do is you go and purchase the game just type in google football manager 2019 2020 whatever year you're watching this video in or whatever year you want to purchase you would have to download the steam app and in it you will have the football manager in it when you do it it's quite straightforward anyways you download it it installs on your computer easily depending on how much space you have in your computer but you should have if you have a, about 5 MB free then you'll be good now when you're done installing the game this is where you go you go to the carriers the carriers tell you to pick team of your choice and start your career and this is where it begins so you click on that and you choose whatever team you like in my own case, I often start with Manchester United because I'm a Mario fan. And I really just every time I get a new football manager, because I get one every year, I play with Manchester United to start with. Then sometime during the year when I'm done playing with Manchester United, I'm I'm a bit bored. And I can go to other teams like Preston Norton. There's another team I really love, Preston Norton. They're in the championship. No, they're in the league one actually. And at times I use Real Madrid or Barcelona, depending on how how I feel about those teams at that time. But right now we're going to use Manchester United as this, for this tutorial. So you click on Manchester United or whatever team you like. You can either choose Quick Start or Advanced Setup. For this video I'll use Advanced because I want you guys to see how it works totally. So let's do the Advanced Setup. It often takes some time to save as well. So you might want to be cognizant of that. All right, now you, this window over here will tell you the leagues you are, you are able to play in and the lowest level of the league you can start from. So in this case, Active Nation and League. For the English League, you can start from Sky Bet 2 and above. If you want to start from Vanaroma National League, North and South and above, you can start from there. But it's easier to just start from here because remember this game takes a lot of space on your computer you must have enough storage as well so you might want to be cognizant of that for the French league as well if you want to start from Domino's league 2 and above or French national league and above I usually start from this as well and your borders league as well all right and in this case my computer wants me to do just borders league only but you can start from borders league 2 and above as well Depending on your depending on your choice, I hope you get them now. Alright, um So when you're done with this, just go to your start. All of these are just things you don't need to rest. Go to your start game. Now when the game starts and sets up your database, you start to do things like tactics, every other thing. But you might first want to start with it will ask for your nationality, your name, the sort of manager you want to be, which I'll show you as well. Uh, what you want to wear it, get, it deals with little things as well. So It's just one of those things that it almost simulates real life completely I mean you you can't get a game that gives you that 100% but this gives you about I'll say a fair 60% or 70% of it All right, the setup takes a bit of a minute. So please bear with it um, Also, what do I want to say? Oh, yeah, this game is addictive. I know 
if you're watching this for the first time, you're probably thinking, uh, it doesn't look too exciting. Yeah. After your first week, you'll go back to that comment and be like, oh my god, what have I done with my whole week? Which is a very addictive game. I've been playing this as a mid. Okay, I started playing this since 98. It was. It wasn't football manager then, it was something else. Oh, what did we used to call it then? He had a bad name then. And it wasn't this complex then, though. But at the same time, it was addictive then. And I've been addicted for a good. Let's say. 7 to 8 years. Oh, it's just 7 to 8. It looked 20 years now. Alright, so. The game tells you to pick your name. That's my name, I'm gonna clean it up. So you can use whatever name you want. Uh, let's say John Doe. For the sake of this game. John Doe. And uh, your nationality. Um, yeah, she's American, because this is mostly for American audience. Place of birth. Uh, I live in Baltimore, so I'm just gonna say Baltimore. Favorite team, Manchester United. Now, if we have your social media, you can link it by pressing this your YouTube channel or your Twitter account. You can link it to this as well. It means every time you play a game or anything, you hit a milestone, probably you win your first game, sign your first player, it automatically uploads on your Twitter account and you can just have everybody see it. Alright, you can do it with your parents as well if you're male or female. Say female, male, depending on what you are. Let's use male. You can choose a date of birth. Uh, I'm just gonna choose a random date because this is just for the video. 1993, okay. Let's use 86. You can choose your height as well, whatever you want. Also, you can decide what skin complexion, hair color, hairstyle. Um, for hairstyle. This is what you have, these are the options you have, you want to look like, you want to be bald, why not? You want to have enough hair, why not? You want to be semi-bald, why not, you can do that as well, it depends on what you want. You want to look like an action hero, that's your choice. So the hair, let's do the hair. Facial hair, if you want a beard or not. You get different levels of beard, you want that kind of beard. Uh, I'm going to go for... The mustache, yeah, yeah, all right, all right. Um, also, you can decide if you want glasses or not, you can pick whatever color frame you want. I hope you get it just to do that. This is just one of those things that if you're one of those people that actually appreciates the little things, that this is the game for you. This is literally the game for you because you get stages in this game where you want to sign a player, but a player won't come if he has a bad relationship with somebody else in your team. That is how annoying it can be. It gets petty at times, but again, it reflects real life. Alright, decide if you want a jacket or not. Color your jacket. Alright. Black jacket. Oh, see, that's a weird one. That looks like a, a tennis ball umpire. You can have different looks. You can be one of those coaches that just wears the shirt and the tie. Depending on what you want to look like. A tie as well. If you want a tie, if you don't want a tie. Call of a tie, it depends. Alright, so I'm just gonna move on from this. These are little things. Let's decide your managerial style. Now, depending on what you choose, this is the default it gives you. So, when the default it gives you a decent level of coaching attributes and a decent level of mental attributes. However, if you want to be more of the mental coach, you can move it all the way and you have more mental attributes and very few coaching attributes. Now, there's no this is not really a big deal because it doesn't really affect the game as much. When you start playing and you start setting a certain level of tactic, the game itself will adjust to your tactic and in some cases you will find out that you might be one of those coaches that deals more with the coaching style than the mental style part of the game. Now, I often tell people to go towards the mental a bit because with the coaching attributes, you would always hire a coach anyway, especially if you're in a team that's a big team like Manchester United where you can afford five or six coaches. So those would help you balance your coaching of the team. Alright, so let's move on from there. Start playing. Now this is usually where it takes forever to load. 
Alright, I'm going to save this game. As you can see, I'm playing different games right now, so bear with me. I'm going to save this game as. Uh, let's see what I want to save this at. Games. Uh, of course, you can save it in your Football Manager folder. It goes in your Football Manager folder, clearly. Open. Uh, see, I'm trying to decide where I want to save this. In a new folder. Pick a new folder. And I'll say tutorial. Okay, that was. I thought it was a save my life. Tutorial. Let's save a tutorial. Alright, it goes in tutorial. It takes a bit of a minute to save. Especially given if your computer size is. If the space of your computer is small. It takes a bit of a second. Now, before you go into this, before you start all this, I want you to. Go over to your preference, click on the FM up here on the right side, up on the right side, and decide and go to the preferences. And when you get your preferences, it tells you, it asks you language you want to play with. You can choose any language you want Spanish, English, German, Portuguese, Japanese, Chinese. But well, we're gonna stick to English because that's what we do here. And uh, your date language as well, data language. Let's do it in English as well. Now, if you want to deal with pounds or dollars, now for Americans it will be easy for you to understand how the dollar works, so you will use dollars. And of course, football soccer players get paid weekly, at least to the best of my knowledge from the UK and most of Europe, they get paid weekly. So we'll leave it at that. Mm. Now the your, your graphic quality would depend largely on your SSD card in your computer. So if you have a computer with a low SSD card, then you would have the graphic won't be too good. However, it's never too bad. For instance, mine is just one star, and it's still a very decent one. So also, you get to decide if you want sound in your game. I'm gonna let you hear what it sounds like if you have sound. If you have sound in it, you can. So that's the sound you hear where you, when you score. And it's gonna be on throughout the game, actually, in my fact, yeah. So if you want sound, I buy don't like sound, I don't use it at all. That's one thing. Also, again, you can log into your Twitter or YouTube account from here. And it just it helps you if you want to keep publicizing your game to everybody. Then you can confirm that. Now, in a surprise move, Manchester United have hired John Doe as a new manager. The age you put the 32 year old is reportedly delighted to be given the opportunity to harness management skills at Old Trafford. And the Red Devil supporters will certainly be hoping that he can take their team to a new height despite the fact that he has never managed a team before. It replaces previous manager Jose Mourinho, and you know that's because this is a 2018-2019. Jose was in charge, and that's why it says it replaces Jose Mourinho. Now I would like to formally welcome you to the club. This is the this is Ed Woodward, the chairman of the club, welcoming you. And he wants you to. He's going to call. He's going to invite you to attend an introduction meeting. I often tell people to. Attend for the first time, just attend the meeting. Alright, he just keeps saying yes to everything, it's not nothing serious. Uh, they obviously club of a lot of history. I appreciate you might already know a fair bit, but let me tell you all. So, you just go, Yeah, it sounds good, tell me more. Alright, so as we mentioned in our welcome message, that the club has some specific philosophies which you will be judged on during your time at the club, which are the following they want to play attacking football, they want you to sign high profile players. Sign your players for the first team, develop players using the club's youth system. So you can go, yeah, I have, I like that. You, you can say no, if you say no, you probably be messing with your standing with the board and owners of the team. Alright, I think it's good. So in tradition, we hold a press conference, once I need a new manager, you would like us to meet. Would you like us to set one up for you the next day? In this case, they're asking if you want to meet the journalist. Alright, uh, if you want to say yes to that, you can say yes. I'm going to say no to that. We'll just move on. 
So, to, okay, he's gonna introduce you to the coaching team. This is Karen McKenna, which is part of the coaching team, Manchester United. Met him, say what's up, everything. I think he'll be great to benefit from backroom staff and all that. So, these are some backroom staff as well. You meet some of them as well, and you'll talk with them. But clearly, Karen is like the highest member of the coaching team that didn't live in Mohio. So, that's why you're dealing with him for now. Yeah, you have an option to replace him as well. The moment you get into the team, when you get into the team and you decide, okay, I like some other coaches, some other young coaches I've read about, you can go in to the scouting area, which I'll show you, and you can get a new coach. Now, you can exit this, or you can ask for other things, but I'm going to exit that. All right. Now, as the new Manchester United new signing and transfer obligations, they're going to tell you all the players they just bought. And those that are on loan, those that are coming in, obviously, obviously Manchester United doesn't have any player that is on loan in the team right now. But they've loaned out a lot of players to get match fitness and all what of you. So the likes of James Wilson, who is a good player for the future. Pereira, good player for the future. Twan Zebe, for those of us that are watching the Premiership, Twan Zebe just came to the Premiership with um, Aston Villa. And he had a good out in this last season. Um, so you want to look at those, know what we have. Go into induction schedule as well. All right, schedule two days time. If you want to, on behalf of the backroom teams at Manchester United, I would like to extend a warm welcome to you. Prior to your appointment as manager, the staff has been handling the majority of the day-to-day -day business activities. Over the coming days and weeks, we will be in touch with introductory emails that are designed to give you an overview of the different areas of the club, allow you to understand induction into how the work and ultimately decide which task you want to personally be responsible for. So again, you have to re you have to respond to this if you want to, if you don't want to, it doesn't really affect your game at all. Now this is where the real business starts from. Your tactics for the season. However, before you go into the tactics, I usually advise people to go into the squad, check the players you have in the squad. You want to familiarize yourself with the players you have in the squad, especially in the under 23 and under 21, under 21 group. Because in some cases you would have young players that are decent and would be able to do the job in the senior team. Because before you go into the transfer market to start buying players, you want to make sure there are no potentials in the team that can take the place instead of wasting money all right so i usually like to, to go into the squad and see what they have so i'm going to skip this for now i will do the tactic later together so I'll skip this and i'll just look at the score just play around look at what they have personally here yeah, i often like to transfer list Anthony Valencia immediately i come in because i don't think he belongs to Manchester United at all and which is evident by the fact that they didn't give him a new, season, a new contract this season. So just right click, it gives the options, and you decide you want to transfer listing. So you offer him to club or transfer listing. Just transfer listing so other clubs can tell, oh, he's available now, you can go for him. I also like to get rid of Ashley Young. Again, right click him, go to the transfer. Transfer list him as well. Okay, those are the two players I like to get rid of immediately because I really don't want them to be Manchester United. I mean, that's my personal bias, but if you want to keep them, you can keep them. Also, to check your under 33, just I want to show you again. Click on filter. Come on, filter. Pick your under 23, and you can pick your under 18 as well. Now, the game is going to give you players that are in the under 23 team. Right now, Marcos Royer is there because he's injured. He was demoted to just to train with them. But I'd like to move him back up to the senior squad just to keep an eye on him. Also, there are players like Angel Gomez, Mason Greenwood, and others that have potential. We've been hearing about them forever. So, what I usually do is I usually promote them to the senior squad. However, I know they are not ready-made for the senior squad. So what I do is I keep an eye on them in the senior squad. 
then I make them available for games in the under 23 and under 18. I'm going to show you how I do that now. I just moved Gomez, right? So let's go back to the same squad. This is removed Angel Gomez. It's going to be down here because we just moved him in. Come on, where are you, Mr. Gomez? Angel Gomez is right here. So what you do is you right click him again on him. I just click on squad. Then you make him available for under 23 squad games for the whole 90 minutes. Alright, that's how you do that. Alright, now that we know we know the kind of players that we have in Manchester United, let's go to the tactics. Now uh this world wants to induct you, and if you want to do that, you can follow the game's induction into the tactic. I'm just gonna show you the basic of the tactic. Now it tells you to choose a tactic style which is either control possession, tiki taka, uh, vertical tiki taka, wing play, route one, fluid counter attack, direct counter attack, whatever you, whatever it is you want to choose. Just pick one. I like to pick control possession or tiki taka. So let's pick tiki taka for now, and this is what it lo looks like. The thing with Tiki Taka is this, every time you play as a ball, there's always a triangle around him, and I'll show you that later on. Alright, so it tells you to choose the formation, and you can choose whatever formation you like. I like to use the 4-2-3-1, 4-2-3-1 wide, yeah this is what I like to use. And I make adjustments. Now the beauty of the 4 to 3 one is this. Like I said with the Tiki Taka here, what you can do is when you have possession, you can form a triangle every time. For instance, if you have, if your fullback has the ball, there's a triangle it forms with your DM or your attacking winger. When your attacking winger has the ball again, is a triangle it can form with your striker or your attacking midfielder. Alright, I'm gonna just tell okay you have the, op the option of doing a quick pick. This quick pick means your assistant coach just use the information available right now or the players available right now to pick members of the team. Alright, so it lets you know there are spaces in the team there are spaces in my team selection due to the match rules enforce enforcer of, of the next fixture. Or the last player to choose from. That means he doesn't have anybody available for these rounds because clearly the boys are still on holiday, so nobody's still around. So that's the why he has blank spaces. However, what you can do is you can pick from your under 23 and your under 18 as well. Tell him to pick from your under 23 and under 18. Have all of those here. I try a quick pick again. Again. It means there's nobody really available because usually if there are people available just gonna pick Romero is injured this is in this are uh, ineligible and that's correct because they are youth players and they're not eligible to play senior squad games right now all right so when you do that you have to decide what you, how you want to play with your possession you want to decide if you want to play a narrow formation or a wide formation now this is fairly narrow if you want to play extremely wide, why not? I usually tend to play wide. Not extremely wide, just wide. Now, this is because this when you start playing the game you'll see why you want to do that. Okay, uh also passing into space is an interesting one. You only want to pass into space if you have players that are definitely fast. For instance Manchester United has Anthony Martial, Alexis Sanchez, Jesse Lingard, and Marcus Rashford. These are players that could potentially play in the wings and they're fast enough. So passing to space means you just pass the ball into space and they can run to get the ball. Now if you have slow players, you should not pass into space. You have to pass to the feet. All right. Passing direction as well, much shorter or standard. 
I like to be more direct actually. So it's gonna be more direct for me. My tempo, I like a very fast my tempo. High one. And no time wasting. Now this time wasting bit is interesting because if you win if you if you're leading the game by a goal to zero, right? Say you're playing a tough team and you manage to get a goal. You can decide to waste time and just put the time wasting on the maximum frequently. By but right now let's just leave it at never. Now this also means right here. It means when you have possession of the ball in the defense, do you want your players to pass out of defense to work the ball out, or you want them to focus the passing on through the right, overlap to the right, or go to the left? In some cases, if you have a very good attacking midfielder, you can might want them to just distribute the ball to your attacking midfielder and have the mandolin from there. All right, so that's something you might want to think of as well. Uh, we are crosses too. Now, if you have real tall players, then you want them to float the crosses because you know your players will win the ball up in the sky. For instance, someone like Lukaku will always win the ball up against most defenders when he's ready to play. Some days he doesn't play at all. Uh, and some, at times, if you have players that play right on the edge of the defenders, someone like someone, someone like Mane. No, I want to say my. I mean, I want. I want to think of someone that just. I want to think of a player that all he does is just taps the ball in. So I like Chicharito. Right now is the one I. I don't know why I think of Chicharito. Right now, Javier Hernandez. They want to whip the crosses because it's one someone that just. He stays at the edge of the defenders and just taps the ball in. So you might want to whip the crosses in. Uh, but if you have players that can play all different styles of attacking. Then use your mixed crosses. All right. Now you can play for set paces if you want to, which is good if you care for that. All right. In transition, you can decide if you want to counter press or regroup. Now regroup means when you receive the ball, you calm down. When you win the ball, you calm down and you let your players settle down. However, if you have fast players like Manchester United does, you might want to counter attack immediately. So that's an opportunity to score before the opposition regroups. Okay, uh, when possession has been won as well, you want to counter attack too. And you want to distrib distribute the ball quickly. Now, this is for your goalkeeper. Do you want your goalkeeper to roll the ball out, throw it long, take short kicks, or take long kicks? Uh, because it's you're playing counter attack, it's better to just take a long kick. All right, your goalkeeper finds someone up top to start the counter attack move with. So you might want him to distribute to the target man or over the opposition's defense. That is your choice. Now, uh, way out of possession as well. This is what I like to do. I like to press very much. So I press high up, and that's what you have here now. Uh, you can come, you can press down, but I like to press all the way up. Okay, you use tight marking as well, and you stay on fit. So that's all I do. Now this video is almost 10 minutes long, so I'm just gonna stop here. I'll let you guys know. I'll continue from here the next time we do another tutorial. All right, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your viewership. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Please, 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 please,